Hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing. Today it's one of my subscription boxes. It is Rocker Box for May 2023. So this is a monthly subscription box. Their most flexible plan costs £15 per month, but you do have to pay delivery charges on top of that of £3.95. There are cheaper plans where you are tied in for a period of time now there's often a deal available with rockerbox on your first box but i couldn't actually see one on their website this time so but it's always worth a check if you do decide you want to get this box because there might be one there now now this used to have a leaflet with it describing all the products in it but now it's just got one of the qr codes that a lot of the beauty boxes are doing now takes you to an online leaflet not a great deal of information but they do have prices for each of the individual products which we'll go through as we come to them they do also describe the theme of the box which is the glow up and they say this month's box is all about elevating your beauty game and achieving that coveted luminous glow there is a sneak peek for next time on the back of this leaflet which is a full-size xx revolution bright light radiant primer so I don't think I've had that before, so that will be interesting for me to see. Now, this month's box contains five products plus an extra treat, and they say it's worth £117. Just notice my hair is a little bit... I'm saving, I'm, I've done that on purpose because I've got a hair item to use in here in a bit, but I'm not liking the look of my hair. Okay, the first item now for me the first item is the star of the box without a shadow of doubt i really really like this product it is by murad and it's the correct and protect broad spectrum spf 50 45 even full size worth 70 pounds this is and it is available on the brand's website at that price they say if you're relying on a separate serum and sunscreen to cook correct discoloration and protect against hyperpigmentation then you need to meet this new two-in-one innovation we combine the proven results of a treatment serum with a satiny smooth spf that melts into your skin without leaving a white cast it delivers 360 degree defense against uva uvb blue light and pollution a blend of responsibly sourced jojoba squalene and tomato fruit extract provides a powerful antioxidant defense absorbing and reflecting uv light to naturally enhance your skin's glow beetroot extract brings comfortable lasting hydration to skin while stimulating vitamin d production now to use this you shake it then li liberally apply it liberally even Apply it to your face, neck and chest. If additional moisturiser is needed, you actually have to put that on before you use this product. That's what it looks like. So it's in gorgeous packaging as well. I don't know whether that feels like, sounds like glass, doesn't it? And with a little pipette. Now, I actually already have some of this because I got it in the toil box. I think it was for last month, April. And I really love this product it's absolutely fabulous it's one of the ones i've been using the most since i've had it it's gorgeous it goes on beautifully it's got such a soft feeling when you put it on it's perfect under makeup it leaves a little bit of a sheen as well so it's just a great one to use i'll show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like in the pipette and i'll put a bit on the back of my hand and it just blends in really easily and beautifully and look at that little sheen it's leaving as well it's gorgeous there is a very slight smell to it but it's kind of it's sort of like an spf normal smell universal spf smell it's gorgeous i'm so happy with that product so for me the value of the box is already there in the 75 70 pounds even um price mark of this product if you like that product okay the next item though i do like too i think because i think i had it last year but i can't quite i definitely had something very similar last year it's by paul Yacomini and it's the mist hair hydrator it's 30 mils and rockerbox says it's worth 22 pounds so this is actually showing as £24 on the brand's website at the moment, but the label does look a slightly different colour, so it might be a slightly different 
They say this is a leave-in lightweight fusion of moisturising botanicals and oils for dry, brittle hair. It's super hydrating and conditioning, adding softness and shine. And it contains various ingredients, including rosemary hydrosol, which strengthens the hair follicles by increasing circulation. Aloe vera, this develop, develop, delivers even, develops, delivers, it delivers an abundance of scalp and hair conditioning amino acids, such as zinc and copper, glycerin, a vegan source, which softens and hydrates, allowing hair and scalp to retain moisture, and propanidiol, a vegan source again. This provides increased levels of hydration when combined with glycerin, allowing the hair to retain moisture. And it has a naturally fragrant essential oil-based fragrance of geranium, patchouli, clove and rose. To use, you spray onto your dry hair whenever your hair feels dry or dull. Avoid contact with the eyes. So you do use it on dry hair, as it says. I haven't used it yet. I thought I'd give this one a go. Can't see what I'm doing, mind, of course. That's par for the course with me. Um, I think I'm going to pause. I'm going to put it on here. And then I'm going to come back and see if there's any difference, if I can feel a difference. It does feel ever so slightly, just a little bit more dry on this. This side feels really nice and soft, actually. I don't know what I've done differently. This side, there's a slight dryness to it. So I'll be back in a second. I think it has made a little bit of a difference. It feels like it's gone a bit flatter anyway. The best thing about it, though, is the smell. I have had this before because I recognise the smell when I when I sprayed it. It's really, really lovely. Although there's a slight licorice-ness to it, which isn't necessarily my favourite smell. But in this, it kind of works. So I'll spray it here so you can see how fine that is as well. Yeah, I, I've got a big sort of aniseed burst there. Um, which isn't it's weird though because I quite like it it's it's a strange one but I'm happy to have this it's a really nice little product the only thing I noticed was the lid is slightly skew if there luckily it hasn't leaked or anything which is a good thing because something happened with my glossy box which I am going to film that later today and that was a bit of a box fail I would say just sorting my mic out as we go along here right the next item now there's a choice well not a choice an option you can either get one or the other with this so it's by salt and steam and it's a relax relaxing facial steam you can either get it in glow or in rough night i've got rough night they obviously knew me they know who i am this is 50 grams Rockerbox says it's worth five pounds. They don't actually know who I am, just in case you're wondering. Well, I don't think they do anyway. Um, try and hide my real identity. You can get 200 grams of this from the brand's website for 10 pounds. So that does actually seem like a bit of a high valuation saying this is worth five pounds. However, it's in a cute little glass jar, isn't it? So often the packaging bumps up these prices. Now, in relation to the glow version, according to the website, it contains eucalyptus, lemon and rosemary. And they say this facial steam has four amazing essential oils to give you radiant skin and a totally re relaxed mind. The perfect combination of herbal and citrus oils. We recommend using this for a morning pick me up before you moisturise. Now, I got this one, the Rough Night version. It contains peppermint, lemon and tea tree. And the brand says, feeling a little rough around the edges. We've all been there. This facial steam is the perfect boost for when you're suffering from some wine-induced discomfort. Change into some loungewear if you aren't already in some. Pop on a good film and steam away. I really like that description. Now, to use these, you'll need a heatproof bowl, a light towel, freshly boiled water and step one you add a tablespoon to your bowl pour hot water over it until the bowl is one third full set your bowl on a lowish table somewhere you can lean over it and then you cover your head with your towel to create a steam tent and sit with your face 30 centimeters above the water 
And then you breathe deeply, relax. We re they say we recommend steaming for 10 minutes before cleansing your face and applying your favorite serum or moisturizer. So I have had a go with this. It reminded me of being a kid. When, when I was a kid, if you had a sort of cold or anything like that, everybody always told you to go over um, a bowl. Also, I remember doing that when I was a teenager to try and open my pores up with the steam. So it is a, quite a good thing for your face, I think. And I actually found it quite therapeutic and relaxing to do it. It was lovely. Now, the smell of this is a little bit odd for me. So this one is the peppermint. Um, let's see what it says again, just to remind myself because my brain does not retain. Um, peppermint, lemon and tea tree. Now, I can definitely get the peppermint. It does remind me of like an indigestion tablet. I know I keep saying these things and I do get a lot of indigestion at the moment, but definitely reminds me of that. It's a very interesting, odd smell. And when you're breathing it in, though, it does smell slightly different and kind of nice, kind of relaxing. The only thing I did worry was that I might actually fall asleep and my head would fall into some hot water. So I did end up opening my eyes and keeping them open just in case. But I like this a lot more than I thought I would. So I've used a tablespoon there, which has taken it down to about there. So I reckon about two more goes of that and it will be done. And I think I will use it because it was lovely. My skin actually felt really well prepped for um, using skincare products afterwards as well. I actually used a cleanser after I used that, which is in here. So I'll explain all in a bit when we get there. The next product, though, is by Noble Isle. And it's the Greenhouse Luxury Bath and Shower Gel. It's 30 mils. Rockerbox says it's worth £6. The brand sells 250 mils for £22. So I do think that seems a little bit of a high valuation, although I love this brand. So personally, I'd probably pay that for it. But that's only because I love Noble Art so much. Right. I think that's the right way around. And the brand says a warm botanical fragrance reminiscent of an English greenhouse at the height of summer, gathering bergamot, honey, honeysuckle and jasmine, refreshing hints of mint and melon and the unmistakably earthy scent of tomato leaf. Invigorate your morning with a shower filled with the balmy scents of a summer or relax or the balmy scents of summer even or relax in a luxurious bubble bath that's steeped in fragrance. I've lost the ability to talk yet again. And it does say Noble Isle bath and shower gels are made in England with nutrient rich extracts locally sourced from producers around the British Isles. The greenhouse contains tomato extract known for its nutrient rich skin calming properties. And they say all of our luxury bath and shower gel formulations are made with real perfume. And I think that you can get that with their products. I love their products. This is the fourth fragrance I've actually tried. And I think I haven't disliked any of them. I've loved every single one and I've understood where they're coming from with the description on every single one that I've tried. This one is just really interesting. I can smell the tomato leaf. I can actually pick that up. Now that sounds not great, doesn't it? But it's beautiful because it's mixed in with other things and they all go really, really well together. Now with Noble Isle, you only need a little bit to go a long way. You do have to lather it up within your palms, I find, but you don't have to take too long doing that. Now I didn't use much today because I only did my upper body. I was trying out another product on my legs. So I haven't used probably as much as I would use on the whole of my body, but even so, I only used that much. I didn't need much at all to get a decent little lather going. It's beautiful. And the other thing I like about this is you can smell it on your skin for quite a while afterwards. Now, I had my shower absolutely ages ago, so I don't think I'll be able to smell it now, but let's give it a go because you never know. Do you know what? I think if I get my nose really, really, really close up, I can still smell it. But I'm not sure it could be my fabric conditioner. It's 
It is a beautiful smelling product though. And I'm really happy to try yet another one of the fabulous Noble Isle fragrances. Now we come on to a couple of products or a couple of items in the box. I love those last four. I think they're all really, really great. Happy to get them. I think I'd have sort of, if the box had just been those four products, I'd have been very happy. Now, I don't mind the next one, but the next product is counted as one of the five products. And I just, I'm not 100% sure it should be, simply because this is it. It's the Palmer's Get Your Coconut Glow Facial Trio. Now, Rockbox says this is worth six pounds, but it's a... I think it's, it's basically a sample. Um, so I can't actually confirm that. And it does say somewhere on here that it is a sample, I think. Um, now, it, it is quite a nice product to try out, however, to sample. It consists of a facial scrub, this first packet, bit sachet, which uses natural exfoliating coconut sugar to gently buff and polish away dirt and dead skin cells, revealing a brighter, fresher and purified complexion. And it also contains virgin coconut oil, which keeps skin hydrated and chamomile flour to soften and calm. And to use this one here, you wet your face with warm water and apply generously, massage in a circular motion and rinse completely. So I have had a go with this earlier today. Let's see if there's any left and I can try and squeeze a bit out to show you. I'm not sure there's going to be a lot, actually. It did my face, so there was enough in there for that. Here we go. I've just got to be careful how I balance that now. So this is what it looks like. The granules are very granulous. That doesn't make sense. The granules are very, very fine. A little bit too fine and sort of gritty for me. I'm not keen when they're like that. But the smell is gorgeous. It does smell very coconutty. The, the sort of smell is of coconut cake products, which isn't good for me. As usual, it's reminded me of cake. I love coconut cake, especially the ones with the jam. Jam sponge, jam desiccated coconut on top. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we're not here to discuss cakes as normal. So let's go on to the next sachet, which has a facial moisturizer in it and it says this renews and revitalizes skin for a healthy looking radiant complexion naturally skin friendly coconut water and hyaluronic acid drench skin in moisture for an instant hydration boost it also contains papaya enzymes which infuse skin with antioxidants and you apply it twice daily to clean dry skin on face and neck now i've used this today under my makeup went really well under the uh, serum, the SPF serum, um, so this is under this. Together, they did a great job, actually. My skin felt really good afterwards. Now, I think there is a little bit left in here, and I think you would get at least two, if not three, uses out of this moisturiser. It's beautiful. So it went on well. I haven't got all the granules off of the um, scrub, but never mind. It went on really, really well. Let's put it on my arm. So I knew I was going to make a mess with this one. See, it blends in beautifully. I think it's because it's got the hyaluronic acid in it. Oh, it's gorgeous. It smells lovely if you like coconut. If you're not a fan of coconut, you're probably not going to like it, to be honest with you. But it is gorgeous and it did a great, great job. Again, a little bit of a sheen to that. My skin felt immediately sort of plumped and softened afterwards. Now, finally, there is a sachet here containing Palmer's Coconut Monoy Luminous Hydration Facial Oil in this last packet. Um, it combines fair trade extra virgin coconut oil plus nine other skin nourishing oils to boost hydration, replenishing and revitalizing skin so it looks dewy, healthy and radiant. It helps maintain skin's optimal moisture level so it's balanced and never greasy or overproducing oil to compensate for dryness. And you apply three to four drops to clean dry skin on face and decotage and massage in a circular motion. Now, one of my pet hates is oil in sachets. I can't bear it it's just messy it gets all over the place it just i don't like i 
I'm not even going to open it. I'm really sorry. I know that's a bit of a cop out, but I just can't stand trying oils in sachets. It's something that I've made such a mess with over the years that I'm not doing it anymore. So there you go. And I don't really, I'm not, I don't get on that great with facial oils anyway. They're not my favourite thing. So that is one of the five products. The next item, I think, is the one that's classed as an extra treat. Well, I'm pretty sure it is because that's what it says on the online information. And it's a bit of a strange one. It's a Vivu urine test strip worth £8, apparently. So with this, you actually do have an app that you download and you have to set up an account in order to use this or use find out what it all means so it's one of those apps that encourages you to live a healthy lifestyle ask you all sorts of questions about yourself um, you can skip those if you really want to and just want to see the results of this and what this apparently does and this is what it i haven't used it don't worry i wouldn't do that to you that would be really gross um, you it's you pee on it and then it helps tell you your levels of hydration, magnesium, calcium, vitamin C, pH, ketone, salinity, oxidative stress and protein. So what an interesting thing. I actually am quite intrigued by it and I am going to give it a go. I've got a feeling I know that I'm going to fail on some of these things and it's, um, it's going to tell me terrible things. But I still want to give it a go, just out of curiosity. So, yeah, very strange thing to get. But, you know, I don't know. Anyway, the app itself could be reasonable. I've tried these apps before, though, and I sort of start off with great intentions and then get a little bit bored, forget to keep up the information you know you have to record various information about what you've done that day what you've eaten probably i don't know i haven't looked into it in too much detail those are the sort of apps i've used before and i just get i just get a bit bored after a while and forget about them so i might give it a go we'll see i think the only thing is if you want to then test where your urine is in a month or two months you've probably got to go and buy some more of these haven't you so i don't know anyway what do you think of the box do you know what i actually really like this box so there's six products in here four of them i really really like so that's two thirds two out of three so it ain't bad some people might get that song reference um i actually do really love the first product it's fabulous it's one of my it's, do you know what it is the one i've been using the most the spf product i've used the most so far this year i know we're only in may but so far this is the one that i've been using the most then we get the Paul Iacomini beautifully smelling. I'm surprised I like it because I can get that sort of aniseed whiff to it. But there's other things in there and it's gorgeous. Do you know what? What do you think? I don't know. I think it has made a difference. It definitely looked a little bit flatter when I came in, didn't I? Which is a good thing for me. That's what I like. Um, then we had this sort of salt steam thing which is the smell's not the best in the world but when you're actually got your head over it it's very relaxing i can imagine actually if i did have a bit of a hangover i did have one after the coronation celebrations my sister-in-law and i ended up dancing to wham a lot and um yeah and other people weren't dancing at the time either so it was a little bit you know but we enjoyed ourselves and we don't care we're both in our 50s we're past that stage of caring anyway yep i will use this again she's gonna kill me for saying that and then we had the noble isle product which is gorgeous as i expected it to be um and i can get the tomato leaf definitely in there 
beautiful beautiful product love noble oil it is on the pricey side but you know what it's actually worth the money i think okay then we come on to the two that are a bit odd do you know what i do actually like this i don't think it should be classed as one of the products because it is a sample sachet but it was fun to use and i enjoyed it and it was it's a nice product i particularly loved the um moisturizer not as keen on the scrub not really a one for oils especially not in packets like this oh gonna get messy um but the moisturizer was gorgeous and then the mm, interesting i'll tell you what if i remember if i remember and i probably won't but i'll really try i'll put <laughs> my results in the comments unless everything's really dire and bad and then i'll just go and crawl in a corner and cry okay well i hope you enjoyed that unboxing it was do you know what i quite like this month's rocker box it's one of my um favorite boxes glossy box i've got to do in a bit i've had the box fail with that it's not a bad box it's just something went a bit wrong and then um look fantastic it was definitely one of my favorite boxes toil i've had it's got good products in there they're just not really ones for me cohorted is fabulous but that's because it's got hair products and i love hair products so yeah this one's not a bad one it's one of my faves i think anyway nice to see you here i hope wherever you are you're happy healthy and if not i'm going to send you a massive burst of positive energy and I hope that helps to cheer you up and make things a little bit better take lots and lots and lots of care of yourself and i'll see you again here soon bye bye